We've got brand new video of a reactor being successfully taken down in Oak Ridge. This is the low intensity test reactor, also known as Building 3005. What you're seeing is the last phase of demolition on this project here at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Getting to this point, took nearly five years of planning and deactivation work. Employees had to navigate dangerous structural concerns all along the way. The training reactor became world famous when a photographer first captured a blue glow caused by radiation in the pool above it. That photo appeared on the cover of the October 1951 issue of the Scientific American. Now fast forward, that facility has been closed for decades and had deteriorated quite significantly. That's why demolition was necessary. This is the second reactor EM and UCOR have taken down at ORNL, both happening over the past year. The first was the nearby bulk shield reactor. This animation shows the plan to take down 3005. It's a slow and tedious process, making sure to keep workers and the community safe. It's a big challenge all the way around. But at the end of the day, you just got to grind your way through it and you got a great dedicated workforce that's, once, that's, that's dedicated to the mission and, and uh, we're continuing to make it happen because of them. This was a tricky project. The facility's original drawings didn't include all necessary information. Workers used high-tech equipment to detect radiological material that hadn't been previously documented. The goal was to take this down by the end of 2023. They made that happen. It's also a good thing for the environment, right? It's a good thing for the public. Uh, you know, these, these facilities are old and they do have high, high, high levels of contamination, so we want to mitigate and prevent the release of that contamination to the environment. So we remove it, place it in a safe state, put it in a safe repository and clear that land and protect the environment and allow the mission to continue with the expansion and the construction of new facilities. This wasn't one of the largest reactors on site, but it did play a critical role in training. It operated from 1951 to 1968. With demolition complete, that land will now be available for ORNL to reuse.